Well, good morning. We are here in the little town of Madison, which is not far outside of our uh, where we camped last night. One of the things we're going to go see, and I don't think it's open that we could tour it, but apparently there's some fancy mansion. Sorry, you guys are looking into the sun here. Show you a little bit of the town. So this is Madison. I mean, look at these places. And this isn't even the mansion we were supposed to drive to. It's back the other way. But the street was blocked off, so I don't even know if we can get to it. And like I said, weren't necessarily planning on actually touring it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's... Do have a stop I don't know, it looked like she was yelling at us or something. No, I think she was yelling sorry. She had an apologetic look on her face. Uh, okay. I know because I do that face a lot. <laughs> I look at this old thing, whatever. Okay, we're still in Madison and uh, there was just so many cool things. Buildings and stuff that we thought we'd start our cameras again. And look at all these old buildings here. This place, I thought it was just a little town. I think we ate right here, Carol. Oh yeah, we did, that Red Rooster. That was the only place we could find open. Yeah. Oh yeah, because, <laughs> remember? Yeah, I, I looked do at remember. places and it was Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. You were looking for a... <laughs> she looks for a restaurant in Madison and she got one in <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin. I even called them and asked if they allowed dogs. <laughs> And we, we put it on the phone, the directions, and it said like 700 miles or whatever. 20 hours to drive. Look at these wonderful buildings. The clock. And the clock. Madison Bank Clock. I don't think it's the world's largest. Though. Carol's got a great building over there. I am hiding peak with hide and seek with the sun. Oh, look at this fire department. All these houses are just so gorgeous. They're gorgeous. All right, well, I think that for me is probably the end of Madison. All right, so we've uh, turned around here. It's still the Ohio Scenic Byway. We are going the opposite way because we passed this old homestead from, we think, 1815 or 1817 and it uh, looks like they've taken very good care of it uh, apparently you can tour it by appointment and um, we didn't even know it was here so we're just turning around and going back and a cool house stone in the back wood in the front business in the front party in the back 1817 it's the tebow tebow or Thibo. No, it's Tebo. Is it Tebo? Yes. The Tebo Farmstead. She thinks she knows everything. Looks like maybe Carol's found the outhouse. Yep. And is this the jail? Probably where they stored their stuff and had to stay cool. That's got bars on the window in here. What size of that spider? Huh? That didn't get open it. Yeah, I was fixing the deep. Size of what spider where? He's right there. In the oh, I see. Trigger stay. Stay. Huh, kind of a cool building, huh? Could be like a jail. Who knows what they kept in here, huh? That's great. The unofficial tour. Let's see what we got here. We can see anything. Oh. It's like a fireplace and a table. So this is totally separate building than the main house. Uh, Carol's trying to see if she can get the pump to work. Nope. Didn't try hard enough. Oh. What a great place. Oh. Oh, wow. 
Pretty cool furniture in there. See a cradle over there. Yeah. Well, Carol's finding them up. Stairs down. Wow. There's a, one of those little air conditioning units down there running. Now look at the knob here and latch, get it to work. There we go. Boy, makes you start to wonder what else you're going to find open out here. All right, so we got something up here, a little fenced in area. I think my camera keeps shutting off on its own here. All right, so looks like we have a bean pole in here. It's probably their garden area. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, they have this shack down here. I don't know if... Maybe I'll walk to it. Well, let's walk to it. And I've only had a few times when this camera seems to turn itself off. I've always wondered about the... Uh, what's going on? Like, is there paranormal normal stuff? Let's see, I'm sorry. Opening the latch. That's cool. Looks like there's a stall or something over there, although. Yeah. Okay. Let me close this up. Could be, have been a stall right here. Doesn't look like a door now. It's got hinges, though. So, maybe. Since I'm down here, right? Might as well go over to the barn. Be surprised if it's open, but you never know. It is open. Or can be opened. Uh, you know what? If I opened it, I'll never get it closed again, so... Could not twist that thing. Alright, I'll walk up to the house. We'll take a look in the windows up there. Alright, so here we are in the front of the house. Okay, so it is two-story. I was wondering, because there's really not much downstairs here. Carol says she found a walking stick. Let's take a look. Okay. There, we got the walking stick. It's not wanting to walk. Oh. <laughs> it's fast. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go and look in some windows here. Now, I think we looked in this one, this room already from the other side. But I only see something new. Yeah. Oh, nice lamp up here, or lantern, or chandelier, or whatever. Yeah. This window. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Now we'll go to the other side of the house. Now I looked in this earlier and somehow my camera got shut off. As I said, we had a few places that's happened where I turned it on and in the middle of shooting, it turns itself off. Okay. So I think that's a fireplace. I can't see because of the sun glare. A sewing machine, maybe? I think so. And obviously a spinning wheel. You can see a desk now and some storage stuff. And then we... What is this? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so a walkway. Here, right into the basement. Now, of course, we could have gone into the basement, but eh, not my thing. All right, so Carol got to see the uh, outhouse, and we didn't get to see into it. So, a real honest to goodness outhouse and storage. But look at the vault, it's got a concrete vault. So, this is a pretty upscale toilet outhouse. Yeah. All right. All right, back in the car and on the road. 
beautiful church there. Yeah. So we are uh, in the town of Vive. I don't know what that building is that's kind of was just in front of us, but got a nice church here. Switzerland Baptist Church. Oh, some more nice houses up here. Here's, here's a Hummer limo. Look at this place straight ahead. Oh my goodness. What the heck is that? <laughs> I like the way it says mansion. Shank Mansion. Let me look it up. That is incredible. It was built in 1874. Two-story Italianate Second Empire style brick mansion on a full basement. It was restored in 2000 and is operated as a bed and breakfast. Doesn't seem like anything's going on there. Well, because in 2020, it was sold to famous tattoo artist Kat Von D, who announced her plans to move from Los Angeles to Indiana and live in the mansion. She's very famous. All right, we are in the town of Rising Sun. Going to go through the old historic district here. Now, the interesting thing is, is we have gone through Illinois, Southern Illinois, and then we went through most of Indiana. Now we should be coming up to Ohio and it's still Kentucky on the other side of the river. A nice downtown, huh? Old downtown. So we are now in the uh, town of Aurora, which is right on the Ohio River. And there's supposed to be some nice murals. Great buildings. And all these have this, like, you know, the old west style buildings. Some of them remind, reminds me a little bit of when we were, was it Ferndale? Mm. You know, yeah, maybe. these kinds of buildings. Yeah, it looks like there's all there's murals all over, like on the side of the building here on my side, there's murals. I had marked that they had some great murals here in town, but oh, here's a this is a pretty cool one. See that one over there or not? It's kind of far away. I'm gonna turn left here. Okay, we'll get a little closer to this mural here. Old fire station. Oh, I know. Okay, I remember now. It's all these people from town, I guess. Quite honestly, I think that was it. <laughs> I mean, we've been driving around here. Go back over this way. See more of them here. It's kind of cool. You know, I guess it must be like <laughs> the Aurora Coffin Company. Well, hopefully, the exposure is good. It looks kind of dark to me, but must be uh, just different things from the city. Stuff up there. It's cool on its own way. Yeah, we have to come through town anyway, right? All right, we are coming into Ohio, and it's still Kentucky on the other side of the river. We are officially in Ohio, and we are not very far from uh, Cincinnati here. Well, we have uh, sort of ended up going straight. Go going through Cincinnati. I mean, it's obviously the outskirts of town here. Well, we are uh, in East Fork State Park, which is east of Cincinnati. It's one of the few places uh, really along here in this particular part of the area, other than private campgrounds. We picked this one. Uh, when I checked earlier, they said it hardly had anyone. She said they were almost full. 
And then I asked, well, what loop had the least? And they said, the horse loop. Ah. Horses, Trigger. Horses. Horses. Don't get him all excited. Yeah. We don't want him barking at him. Anyway. As he does. As he does. He hates horses. Anyway, so we're going to end the video here. There's not a lot to see. Uh, horses. <laughs> there's a horse out here. But we're just going to pull in here and pull into our campsite and uh, download all this street shooting we did today. But we appreciate you guys watching. I hope you like and subscribe. And we will see you. Oh. What? We have a horse down there now. We do? Ooh. Well, we will see you guys in the morning. This will be interesting because there's a horse in our spot. Hopefully that horse doesn't stay in our spot. Let him know this is our camp spot. And we're right by the bridal trail. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. Mm -hmm.